MinPost, Wikipedia article audio. MinPost is a non-profit online newspaper in Minneapolis, founded in 2007, with a focus on Minnesota news. Funding Content and Format Personnel Writers According to its website, MinPost.com provides news and analysis Monday through Friday, based on reporting by professional journalists, most of whom have decades of experience in the Twin Cities media. The site features video and audio as well as written stories. It also includes commentary pieces from the community, and comments from readers on individual stories. The site does not endorse candidates for office or publish unsigned editorials representing an institutional position. MinPost encourages broad-ranging, civil discussion from many points of view, subject to the discretion of a moderator. MinPost's initial funding of $850,000 came from four families, John and Sage Cowles, Lee Lynch and Terry Sario, Joel and Lori Kramer and David and Vicki Cox. The Knight Foundation in Miami, Florida initially donated $250,000 and in 2008 subsequently granted additional funds to expand local reporting. Major foundation support has come from the Blandin Foundation, Otto Bremer Foundation, Bush Foundation, Carolyn Foundation, Central Corridor Funders Collaborative, Ethics and Excellence in Journalism Foundation, John S. and James L. Knight Foundation, Martin and Brown Foundation, Joyce Foundation, the McKnight Foundation, the Minneapolis Foundation, Pollard Family Foundation, and the St. Paul Foundation. In March 2014, MinPost announced that, thanks to a grant from the John S. and James L. Knight Foundation, MinPost and online news site Voice of San Diego will engage in a two-stage process over the next two-plus years, first, to develop systems and adopt best practices that manage member information and facilitate significant membership growth. And second, to test out and then adopt new products, services and experiences for members that will make thousands more readers want to be members rather than non-paying readers. Each organization will receive $600,000 over the next two years. Content is politics, government, science, health, culture, and other subjects including the environment, education and the arts. The non-profit model was estimated to save MinPost about 15% of a traditional newspaper's outlays. The format takes its shape from online newspapers. At first, MinPost published a print version of about eight pages at the lunch hour to high-traffic locations. The print-on-demand model and print version was discontinued during the newspaper's first year. The organization is part of a much-discussed trend away from print toward online media. Quoted by Minnesota Public Radio News, Lori Schwab, executive director of the Online News Association, said in June 2007, 45% of the association's 1,100 members started working at print publications and migrated online. The founding CEO and editor of MinPost, Joel Kramer, retired in October 2016. On May 1, 2014, Andrew Wallmeyer joined the staff as publisher, reporting to Kramer. Wallmeyer is now MinPost's CEO. Sally Waterman is the advertising director, Adrian Doer is director of finance and operations, and Tanner Curl is the director of development. Andy Putz is MinPost's editor. Other news staff include Susan Albright, Corey Anderson, Tom Nehile, and about 25 journalists. 
Full-time staff writers are Brianna Bierschbach, Eric Black, Sam Brody, Peter Callahan, Aaron Hinrichs, Ibrahim Hersai, and Greta Call. Board of Directors, Jill Field, Jack Dempsey, Lee Lynch, John Sato Rias, Jennifer Martin, Mark Abel, Tasha Byers, Fran Davis, Fred de Sam Lazaro, Nancy Feldman, Kathleen Hansen, David Hartwell, Vernie Haspargen, Diane Hofsted, Kim Keeves, Barbara Kloss, Becky Colvin, Ed Kohler, Joel Kramer, Lori Kramer, Jane Maurer, Bill McKinney, Robert Metcalf, Glenn Miller, Max Musicant, Margaret Nelson Brinkhouse, Daniel Oberdorfer, Candace Olson, Jeremy Pirodi, Susan Plimpton, Amy Rattermacher, Gordon Rudd, Rebecca Schaflick, Nancy Spear, Shell Stoner, John Thiessen, Stephen Usury. Advisory Board, Terry Barriero, Peter Bell, Wendy Blackshaw, Laura Bloomberg, Scott Burns, Lauren Collins, Jay Cowles, Toby Dayton, Samuel Hines, Sue Herridge, Marlene Kaiser, Tom Kaiser, Lars Leafblad, Kathy Longo, David Moore, Jr., Mike Moore, Beth Parkhill, David Plimpton, Mary Pickard, Kim Snyder, Missy Staples Thompson, Carrie Swan, Chris Wittes. According to editor and publisher, opinion pieces called Community Voices are signed and nonpartisan. Min Post has a news bureau in Washington, D.C. The Washington correspondent is Sam Brody.